Once you have completed installing PyCharm EDU, we're going to do a very simple program called Hello World. That's the first program you do in almost any language, and it's just going to prove that you have this program set up and working correctly. So when the wizard is done, you'll hit finish. I've checked run PyCharm EDU, and that'll launch it. If you didn't check that, you can just find your shortcut. And you're going to choose, I do not have a previous version, or I do not want to import my settings. Running it for the first time. It should be PyCharm EDU 3. We're going to create a new project. We're going to make sure that we're using Python 3.5. I have the older one, which is Python 2.7. I don't want to use that. 3.5 is what you should have installed. We're going to name this Hello World. And I'm going to hit Create. As soon as you can ignore these GitHub um, settings in here, I don't have GitHub set up properly for this. We'll work with that in the future. Um, you'll see your Hello World file. You can expand it, but there's nothing in it. So you will right click on it and choose New Python File. And we'll just name it Hello and hit OK. We're going to type in print quote, hello world. Now I've deliberately left an error in here and you'll see that you have an error over here. One error, one warning. End of statement expected. Okay, there's a couple errors actually in here. We want to have the space there and we want to hit enter. This is how you end it. Everything in Python is based upon spacing and the number of blank lines. So to end the program, you're going to have to have one blank line at the end of the program. That's leaving me with some yellow errors. Statement seems to have no effect. Let's see what happens when we run it. And this is because I'm missing the parentheses that are required with print. This is called a syntax error. And programming is usually done where you test something and then you check for errors. This is a error here. It doesn't like white spaces. It would have run with that, but it's not good. When you are creating your programs, I want you to pay close attention as you're typing. You should look for this green check mark up in the right hand corner. This tells you that your code is properly typed with the spacing and line rules for Python. I expect that out of every program. So now we can run it. And this is all you need to have for this assignment. This just proves that you have everything installed and running. To make it more personal, I'm going to have you add a second line. You're going to print my name is and I am a programmer. So put in your own name. I don't want it to say Mary. You can use, please use your first and last name. And you don't need to particularly save this, but you can try running it again. It saves automatically. Hello world, my name is Mary and I am a programmer. In fact, grammatically, I think we can just do that. My name is Mary. Now you'll notice I'm getting gray lines here. It's telling me that I have a typo. I'm going to save Mary to the dictionary because I will use my name again. And that eliminates that error. And now I have to hand in this program. So I'm going to close this. And the question is, where do you find that Hello Pi? Actually, I'm wondering, I might be able to do it with this open. Let's see if I do, that'll save you a lot of headaches. So I'm going to choose Submit Assignment. don't think I can drag. No. So we're going to choose our file and we're going to go into this PC 
and we're going to have to go into our C drive and we're going to have to find hello world which should be in C users mine should be in Mary W PyCharm projects I have a few from last semester and I'm going to look for hello or hello world there's my folder I just need the hello file that's all I need I'm gonna hit open and I'm gonna hit submit assignment in the future and so you can see I've turned it in and it's a download of hello Pi or hello.py so I can download that so you can see that that has been handed in and as an instructor I can open it and I will open it and run it in my version of PyCharm so that's just how to create your initial program and hand it in in Canvas in the future we're going to create repositories using something called github and we'll start that in a few weeks but for the first few weeks you're just going to hand in the .py files